So my name is Hein van der Abele. I'm working in TME, Toyota Motor Europe, in the TME cybersecurity team. And we are responsible for all the network security devices, for network security services. So we're responsible for proxies, for the firewalls, and for the endpoint protection. As I said, TME means Toyota Motor Europe, the headquarters in Brussels. And a couple of years ago, Toyota decided we will, we will unify our European network. We will standardize everything. Now we wanted to unify the networking, all these, and the uh, firewall devices, the proxy devices, the endpoint operating system, and the endpoint protection. That's where traps came in. Now, if we unify this, the attack surface, instead of a little community of a thousand people, becomes all of a sudden a community of 15,000 people. So we said we need to standardize. So that's where we decided we will need a new standard for firewalls. We were studying in 2000, April 2017, we started to study advanced anti-malware stuff. Why? Because in the year before, we had uh, many, many malicious emails. We need something anti-malware, something advanced, not just a scanning tool, but something advanced. And secondly, very important, we need user education. The major benefit compared to what we have we've had before, now we have a new generation firewall, which we didn't have before. We had bits and pieces of everything, now we're standardized. And the number of clusters we have is the two digits, and it's still expanding. We will move some uh, countries to Palo Alto in the near future. For these, we have wildfire, we have application uh, and threat prevention. Now, all this is automated. A couple of times a week, we download the new definitions. It's all automated. Toyota in Europe is a lot bigger, but under our responsibility, it's like 3,600 users. And before the end of the year, the plan is we will give all of them global protect. The idea is they come home, they go on business trip, they anywhere, they start their PC. They are not directly on the internet anymore because that's, that's too dangerous. Even with traps, we shouldn't do that. They come home on the hotel, they start their PC, they have it on to TME. Before, we didn't have anything. We didn't know who was attacking us, what was happening, and now we have a very good visibility. So I remember a couple of weeks ago, we had a number of people like in TGB, Toyota Great Britain, five or six people, and they all received the same malicious Word document and it looked like a campaign. Yeah, it looked like, looked like somebody was, was targeting us and they all received the same, the same document and traps intercepted it, luckily. So we, now we have visibility on, on, on what's happening, on, on what's happening on our endpoints, yes. We, we can see it and it saves us lots of time. I have to admit, before we were kind of blind. We had a traditional scanning antivirus which totally doesn't do what traps does. So I, I think we, we, there must have been attacks and, and intrusions and stuff. We just didn't see them. Now with traps, tra traps has, has saved us, I can say in the three digits times. So last time I checked, we had traps rolled out on um, 12,200 something endpoints, 20 plus countries. Yeah, what's the impact on performance? And with 15,000 PCs, I can say no impact. The first one is, is, is kind of obvious. It's with the old firewalls we had, they, they, they only did port protection. They didn't recognize any applications. Now we don't work with ports anymore, not completely, but mostly. So we allow applications on ports, uh, which makes me sleep bad, make me, allows me to sleep bad. That's the first one. So it, it's, very, it's very obvious, it's the applications. The second one, I think I mentioned Global Protect because uh, it's very important for us. What, what we want to do is uh, if, as I said, when the user starts his PC, even before he does log on. So because the, the endpoint will see if there is a network connection, internet connection, the PC will see that network connection before the user has logged on. So as of the power is on. And we will, our global, your global protect will allow us to make a tunnel with TME headquarters even before the user has logged on to the machine. So I think that that makes the situation a lot more secure. You need more capacity, you buy, you pay a little more, you pay a lot more as you want, you use less, you pay less. So, but again, it's, it's all nice and easy having stuff in the cloud, but you need to be protected. 